Good morning. morning. Well, it is Friday morning, about 7.31, so registration just opened. Presley and I are dressed and ready to go. Presley has her bag all packed. Do you want to show them your bag there? She is all ready. Hers isn't personalized like mine, but I didn't have time. Maybe for next year, right? So we're gonna go get registered. We might show you some of the walk over, some of the walk into it. And then hopefully later today we can show you what was in our goodie bag. But otherwise I hope to have lots of pictures and videos of what's going on. We have chosen both of the years we've went to Stamp Joy to stay at the Hilton downtown Des Moines, which has a walkway right over to the convention center. Last year we found it was super helpful, so we were glad we paid the little extra. Tailored Expressions does usually have blocks at rooms at a few hotels, and if you get in on one of those, you usually save a little bit. And at the Hilton, there is a parking fee that Tailored Expressions covers for you, so that is super nice. We successfully made the walk to the convention center. We're going to go get registered. The registration line this year was super short. So Presley and I got our badges and our goodie bags pretty quickly and we were on our way upstairs. Stamp Joy festivities take place on both levels of the convention center. Most of it is upstairs either in the ballroom or outside of it. Outside in the lobby area, they had this fun little photo opportunity. They had some booths set up for demos, which you'll see later, and a little store there where you can purchase yourself some Tailored Expressions goodies. Inside the ballroom is where probably 90% of the activities take place. This is where there are round tables in the center to sit with your crafty friends while you're either eating lunch, taking a break from the make and takes, having the opening or closing sessions, and then I'll show you later, but around the outside are the make and take tables. Each morning, pastries or breads are offered, and I think they also have coffee and water. Since I already had my boiled egg and protein drink, I just let Presley enjoy her chocolate muffin, which she definitely did. After she enjoyed her muffin, we dug into our goodie bags. It was this large bag here that says rainbow all the things, so you know I love that. And inside were lots of goodies, both from Tailored Expressions and some of the sponsors. Presley's favorite was probably the pink embossing powder from Brutus Monroe. I will show you the contents of the goodie bag as well as what we got and made in the classes and bought in the store, etc. in the last vlog of this series, so make sure to go ahead and subscribe if you're not already. Presley did go through a little bit of an identity crisis all weekend long. She was my sister Lisa. After breakfast and opening our goodie bag, it was time to get this party started, and that got started with Taylor getting up on the stage. Good morning! Wow, oh, this is so exciting. We are so glad you're here today. Who's excited to get started with Sam Joy? Taylor took some more time to welcome us, talk about some stuff in the goodie bags and how the weekend would run, and then her sister Whitney came up on stage and started a little cheer. We're going to start. Ready? You guys over here, I'll start you off. Three, two, one. We love Stamp Joy. Yes, we do. We love Stamp Joy, how about you? 
The cheer went on for a little while and some prizes were thrown out among the crowd for being loud. And then Taylor brought up on stage some of the sponsors who had demo booze over the weekend. Sue Doherty was there representing ThermoWeb, Christopher Allen was there for his company Brutus Monroe, and then there were a few ladies from Stampin' Storage. And lastly, there was Lori Craig, who ended up having my daughter's favorite demonstration booth of the weekend for Olo Markers. Once they had all introduced themselves, some prizes were given out, and many of them were from those companies. Once the opening session was over, it was time to get started on the crafty fun. Some people had to take off for the 9 o'clock class, and if you weren't going to that, you could either go out and start shopping, or you could get started on your make and takes. Here I'm doing a little walk by of all of the make and take stations. There were 10 total arranged around the outside of the ballrooms. In the goodie bag was a little plastic box with 10 baggies, and in each of those, they contained the pieces you would need for the make and takes. It was stuff like embellishments, card stocks, die cut pieces, and then when you went to each of the stations, you would use the stamps there, or the stencils, the inks, die cutters, mink machines, that stuff all just got shared. They give you both days to complete the 10 make and takes, and you don't have to go in any specific order. You can just find a table that has an empty seat. All 10 make and takes are included in the price of the weekend's ticket. After our make and take walk by, Presley and I found a couple seats at a table and we got started on the crafty fun. Now I was a little bit worried whether or not she would have a good time during the weekend because she's not really a card maker, but at this point, yes, even at the first station, I knew we were going to have a great weekend. She enjoyed the make and takes, learning lots of new crafty techniques, and all of the attention she got as probably the youngest crafter at Stamp Joy. We continued moving around to tables and creating the rest of the morning, and then it was time for lunch, which always means more prizes. Well, we've had the morning. What do you think so far, Presley? It's really fun. We've made six cards so far, and yeah, it's just a lot of fun, and I'm glad I came. <laughs> Yeah, she is having way more fun than I thought she would, which is great. Um, yeah, so we had, there were like a little opening talk, there were prizes. We did five of the 10 make and takes. Then we had lunch and then, oh, more prizes. And then we did one more make and take. Do you have a favorite so far? Um, my favorite would either be the uh, one with the flowers that we had to like stencil in or the second one we made with the flower that we had to like bend up. So don't worry, I know that probably makes sense, <laughs> not any sense to you, but we will be showing you the cards um, in a later vlog and on the live Saturday night. But I think my favorite might have been the one we just did. It's a shaker card. You guys know I love <laughs> shakers and there were like rainbows in it. But we are going to do a little bit of window shopping and then it's 1245. So our class starts at 1.30. We're gonna get ready to that. We will talk to you later. The classes at Stamp Joy do cost extra. There were two offered this weekend. I think maybe one was about 45 and one was 70. On Friday was the scenic route class, which is the first one we're taking here. And then on Saturday, you could take an alcohol link class. Not only do you get to make awesome cards and projects, but you learn new techniques taught by some tailored expression celebrities. And with each of the classes, you walk away with some dyes or some products to take home. For Scenic Route, we use an exclusive Create in Quads. And if you don't know about Tailored Expressions Create in Quads, you have four large stencils that you basically stencil a whole sheet of cardstock. And then when you're done with the four different stencils or the four different colors, you can cut that in quarters and you have four card fronts all done. 
Now the one for Create and Quads, usually they sell these about six months after Stamp Joy, but we found out they are not going to sell this one. I really hope they reconsider or they sell something very similar because it is so neat. Presley was actually pretty bummed when she found out that she couldn't buy her own set of this because even though she did have one to use at class, it will be going to her Aunt Lisa. Okay guys, so we are on our way back to the hotel. It is 3.40. We just got done with our scenic route class. What did you think, Presley? It was really cool. Um, it was really fun to make the cards. Um, I liked the inks. I liked the, um, whatever, oh, what's it called? The techniques that we use. It was yeah. really fun. Um, and I wasn't as lost as I thought I'd be. <laughs> yeah, we both kept up pretty well. We did try to get ahead though, and we made a couple mistakes, but that happens. <laughs> Like my mom says, it's a craft. It doesn't have to be perfect. But we are going to head back and get our, we're going to relax for about 15 minutes. We don't have much time. We're going to relax and get our cards for the card swap, drop off some stuff that we don't need. And then it's card swap, dinner, and craft Olympics. I am already tired. Are you? Yep. I, <laughs> I am worn out. I was yawning like the last card of the class. But it's been a fun filled day and we'll catch up probably later and tell you how the evening was. We went back to our room and picked up our cards and by the time we were back in the main hall there were lots of ladies already ready to get their swap on. Once they did the little introduction and let you go you could just walk around, chat with the people there, and then trade cards. Presley acted like she had done this a hundred times before, and before I knew it, she was actually off on her own swapping cards. We both were able to trade all of our cards that we took, and we came home with lots of new beautiful inspiration. In no time at all, we were going up the escalators to the ballroom for the evening activities. This was, I believe, called a create and donate or a make and donate session. And just like last year, we learned about Wings of Refuge, which is a local organization that helps women who have been trafficked. What we did is we got a special stencil set and we made two cards there while Taylor taught us up on the big screen. One card we donated to Wings of Refuge and the other one we got to take home. After that was a very yummy dinner buffet. They did have a cash bar and everybody got a ticket for one drink. I chose a Diet Coke for mine and Presley chose a Shirley Temple. Then it was time for Craft Olympics. Once again this year, Kevin and John were the hosts and they ran us through some pretty fun and unique Olympics games. Now you don't have to be an athlete to do this. These are just fun games with crafty items. So for instance, the first one was tall like Taylor and you got a bag of crafty items like stamps and foam tape rolls and adhesive runners, just a lot of weird stuff, and you tried to stack it up and make the tallest stack. Event number two was Nailed It, and they had put together a card and showed it up on screen for maybe 10 seconds, and then you had to take your bag of crafty goodies and try to recreate it. Well, we didn't even think about the fact that you'd have to glue it down, we just tried to arrange the pieces. So Presley had to be super careful when she was taking ours up to the judges. I can't remember the name of the third event, but Presley and I sat this one out and our teammates went up. One person was at one end of the table with a straw and a whole bunch of little puff balls. They had to blow those down the table and the other person needed to catch them in a cup. 
The fourth event was another full team one, and for this one they gave you a bag of letters and you had to spell out a Tailored Expressions product. Well, we had a little misunderstanding. They said it was three words, but there were some hyphens in it, so we didn't quite get the whole thing spelled out quick enough. Before they announced the second round of eliminations, there was a little YMCA music break. Unfortunately, our team did lose out at this point, but everybody got a little bag of goodies. The final round was made up of four teams and one at a time one of their teammates would go up on stage, strap on this box with craft supplies inside of it and have to shake those out of there. Now I don't have video proof of it because they say what happens at Stamp Joy stays at Stamp Joy, but I believe her name was Melinda. For the last team and the winning team, she definitely earned it. If you were there, you know exactly what I mean. The first day of Friday is over Whoa. and I don't know about you, Presley, but I am worn out. Me? Two. You can say that again. <laughs> I don't know that this recap will be will be very long because we went over there at well seven thirty this morning, right? We left and it is nine thirty. We've been about back about ten minutes. I mean, like it was go 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 go. So it's definitely fun filled. They pack it. Um, dinner was great. What did you think? It was really good. They had these. Um garlic and parmesan mashed potatoes and i'm a fan of mashed potatoes anyway but when you add garlic and parmesan to them they're even better <laughs> <laughs> i enjoyed they had some like roast beef or something or steak that was good i had a big salad but yes very yummy and we got we got a couple drink tickets i got a diet coke with mine what did you get with yours <laughs> <laughs> i got a shirley temple yes um we did have to let a couple people know that it definitely was not alcoholic because they had asked her her age. <laughs> but yeah, so after, you know, before dinner, we did the, um, we made cards to donate, which we might have told you about earlier. And then it was Craft Olympics, which we did not win. <laughs> Our team, we didn't get out in the first round. We got out in the second of three rounds, but you will see some video of that and some pictures. We are going to get ready for bed and... Tomorrow's a new day and more craftiness. Woo! Good night. Good night. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you're interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box below.